Good afternoon, this is Tamara Sweeney from lovedominates.com. I'm so excited to tell you about this story. A couple weeks ago, um, I was directed to go to this park. I go to this park to do some videos. I just wanted a different scenery, different background. And I run into this angel. And it's called this Christmas Box Angel. So I'm like, ah, it's a good spot. I'll just go ahead and do, you know, a couple videos here. And I just read the dedication and I'm like, you know, something was meant to be. There was a reason I was here, whatever. So I go home um, and decide to Google it and look it up. And wow, this was definitely a message for me, for Love Dominates, and for all targeted parents. Um, and alienated children. So, I want to give you guys a little bit of hope. So when I googled uh, this Christmas box angel, this comes up. I don't know if you can see, see it here, but it is the angel of hope. And basically, this is um, a story, a fictitious story uh, written by Richard Paul Evans, uh, The Miraculous Story of the Christmas Box Angel. So look it up. It's, it's fascinating how uh, people have flocked around this angel due to a fictitious story, but now has put some uh, major meaning behind these angels. Um, because there is a whole list of these angels, and I, I am... Um, I'm going to tell you the other reason that I'm, I'm really getting into this, but here's all the angels in place right now. They have 85 in place uh, all throughout the U.S. and Canada. Um, but anyway, this angel of hope, uh, I'm just going to read his little message. Through it rises above tombstones. It marks no burial. Through it claims no body. It itself is claimed by thousands. The angel's face is that of a child's. Its arms raised as a child to be lifted. Um, in its wings are hope. And actually, on the actual angel on the wing, it says hope. So, I went on to um, read this story. And I spoke to the person who is in charge of this uh, Christmas box angel and she is helping me um, try to raise funds because what my goal is now and my message is I want to put all these angels near a courthouse near a park near the courthouses or wherever it is significant to you and your situation and this is somewhere that somebody can go and pray and feel peace and feel that there's hope. Um, Lisa is is incredible. She's given me awesome ideas, but we can, um, you know, the angels are, are expensive, so we need to run fundraisers to be able to put these in our local towns. And what we can do is ded dedicate a brick. You sell a brick for a certain price. You can put the child's name, you can put the family's name, um, Whatnot. In my case, I would love to put all my kids' names, uh, Dylan, Dalton, Anya, and Dustin, on there. I would dedicate each one uh, because they are children that have been alienated from me. So, And for me, I have lost my children. But anyway, during this, if, say, I get an angel and I have it near Montgomery County Courthouse from where I'm from and where this all happened, or in a park near my children um, you know this is how they do it so the statue comes there is a base to the statue and there's like a little prayer a hope prayer for um, the lost children and I'm gonna put love dominates message on there but let me read the the official prayer um, or dedicated prayer that they read our Father in heaven, we, a few of thy children, assemble here tonight to dedicate this monument and this ground as a place of remembrance and healing and love. Um, 
that those who come here may feel thy healing influence and be filled with the understanding that while this monument holds no small body, that no grave anywhere holds a child, for in thee all children live. We pray that we, thy children, might remember the beauty and joy of childhood and drink of it fully while we have it with us. That we might remember that while a child can be taken from us, the precious fleeting as a reminder to all to cherish the brief time we share as fellow passengers to the grave. We dedicate this ground, hallowed by tears, as a gift to the world that it might last for centuries as a reminder to still unborn generations of the sanctity and honor of parenthood and the power of a parent's love. That this very spot might become a symbol of that love, which is a symbol of God's love for all his children. We ask that thou would hollow this ground and protect it from those who blind of its message would destroy or deface it. We pray for peace over all those here tonight and heightened awareness of all things eternal that we might through the exercise of our own choices choose love over hate, joy over sorrow, forgiveness over anger, childhood over cynic cynicism and peace over all and this we pray in the name of God amen I was floored when I saw this because my whole entire life I've been saying and you can ask my kids is love is the ultimate power or um, love cures all give me a hug it, it makes the pain go away let me kiss you it makes it all go away um, so when I read this and they actually have the words here, choose love over hate. I know this was a message for me. So what I want to do is try to get these angels in your town, wherever we need to come up um, with a fundraising campaign um, to bring that angel in your town and for all the kids that have been alienated in your state, somewhere for those targeted parents to go and pray and have hope. I, I'm just, I'm just floored by this. But anyway, my mission now is to bring these angels everywhere. The angel's about four feet tall, three, no, four feet, three inches tall, and has a wingspan of five foot and two inches. The diameter of its base is 22 inches. Um, it's a beautiful angel, and at the foot of the angel, you can put like a white flower. All this has meaning. All of it has meaning. Um, I just wanted to show you. Here is a larger uh, picture of the Christmas box angel. So I want this to represent all the lost children out there all the children that have been taken from innocent parents um, and to give us hope. I think this is a great campaign. So join me, contact us, contact Love Dominates, um, www.lovedominates.com. If you want to make a donation, please hit the donation button um, and let's make this happen. Each angel is $14,500, but then the base of it could range anywhere, I think Lisa said, from four to $6,000. So we really need a minimum of, I would say, 20, 25,000 because we have to prep the land, um, you know, clear it out. We have to uh, put down pavers or, or however you want it. Uh, in your area, maybe you want a pond or, or something very peaceful, very loving, very warm. Um, but let's let's bring these Christmas box angels to your town and all over the world. Let's spread the message of parental alienation um, and 
the estrangement between, or the bond between uh, a parent and a child that's been broken, and let's try to bring it back together. Thank you. Choose love over hate and compassion over judgment in everything you do, because love is the ultimate force. Love is power. Love dominates needs your help. We cannot continue this cause, this fight of saving our children and keeping our families together to making awareness to parental alienation, to educating, empowering, and stopping the court corruption. So I'm asking people to please, please donate to www.lovedominates.com to help us to continue this fight.